Well guys, the day is finally here. Toyota has officially teased the sixth generation 2025 Toyota 4Runner over on their Instagram. Let's take a look and break down the teaser that they gave us. But they said from 1984 to so much more. Can you identify each model year? And my comment right here that seems to be doing really well, it was Rose from the Titanic saying, it's been 84 years. <laughs> so we have the first gen, the second gen, the third gen, the fourth gen with that glorious V8, and the fifth gen that has been here, like I said, since 2010, almost 15 years. And then ultimately giving us now the sixth generation 4Runner, which we will break down now. All right, so this is a photo that Toyota gave us, and when I do teaser videos here on my YouTube, I like to really break it down and also get your guys' opinion. So let me know down in the comments what you all think. But we'll start with the color, because it looks either like cavalry blue, like my TRD Pro 4 runner behind me, or it may be heritage blue, like Toyota gave us on the new Land Cruiser 250. So one of those two colors, very hard to tell with this, but what we can tell with the paint is down here, with this lower valence. It's like a silver color, which to me indicates that this 4Runner may be a TRD off-road because with the current fifth generation 4Runner, they have like a silver valence for the TRD off-roads. We can also tell down here too, looking at this lower valence, that our rear panel kind of is a little angled like the current 4Runner. And then we have a tow hitch down here, which is nice, integrated into the frame, but no big cover over it like the Land Cruiser does. Another thing that really pops out is the lettering right here that says 4Runner. Honestly, this needs to grow on me, maybe when I see it in person and showcase it to you guys on the channel. Not the biggest fan of the placement, honestly, because if we look up top up here, a little bit of a textured look to where this would typically say 4Runner or Toyota on like previous generation of vehicles. So curious to see what this is. It is color matched on this one. We could see a little camera up under there, but hopefully there's a handle there for like an automatic hatch. Um, these letters right here, no idea if they mean anything. If they do, let me know down in the comment section. Sometimes Toyota likes to do a little bit of sneaky stuff in the license plate, but I don't really see anything. And then also down here too on the bumper, I wanna point out that it's kind of like the current 4Runner and all 4Runners in the past where the bumper is integrated. We have like a little step portion right here and then you have this little notch, but under that, again, back to the silver valence, we have like little reflectors and those reflectors are definitely unique. Haven't really seen those on any other kind of 4Runners. So that's a unique aspect to it. Going up to the taillights though, um, in the teaser photos that we saw of like the test mules, it looked like there was a light strip that went across the whole back, but we can only really see the side profile of the lights right here, and we can't really tell if there's a light strip that goes across, which I don't think there would be. That's a very Lexus-y kind of uh, design, and I don't see that coming to the 4Runner, but I can't help but notice just kind of how much of a Land Cruiser, I guess, this reminds me of. I know it's only like a little bit of a shot of the back of the 4Runner, so it is very hard to tell. Um, however, it does kind of give me just that Land Cruiser kind of teaser we got. Uh, so hopefully maybe the size of the 4Runner grows to be what the uh, Land Cruiser 250 is. I really like the size of it. It's the perfect size. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, but I am getting those kind of vibes. And again, I feel like it's just because this is just the only angle we saw on both the Land Cruiser and now the 4Runner. But I will note that this tailgate is very, very flat. Hopefully we are getting a rear roll down window that is a staple to the 4Runner. It always has been and always will be. And uh, another thing I'm noticing down here too, I'm not sure where our plugs are for our trailer stuff because I know that that was a big issue with the current 4Runner. So very interested to see how they do it. So with the teaser out of the way, guys, let's take a look at some of the comments that people are posting. The ones that don't show anything, those are just funny gifts, I guess. But finally, I'm ready. Take my money and stuff. Looking forward to the new gen. Omar says, Yoda Mafia, fourth, ben is the, fourth gen is the best gen. Car and driver, what's up? Yeah, everyone in here is just super, super happy for it. Let's go over to my Instagram and see what people are saying. And this post, guys, is just taking off right now. People are so hyped about it. Uh, Fur Runner saying, gotta say that that rear window, it definitely has to go down. I commented back, I was like, if not, we riot, dude. The, the, the rear window has to roll down. I have a feeling that we'll see a lot more uh, 4424. 
What is that? Oh, for Forerunner stuff? Yeah, maybe. We will see. Can't wait to see it. Let's go. Best color. Yeah, not sure again if it's Cavalry Blue or if it is Heritage Blue. All the Forerunner dogs waiting for the drop of that window. I know, I know. We will see new looks, same silver valences. Very good that people are seeing that too, like we mentioned uh, in the breakdown. Um, of course, teasing us with the sneak peek of that booty shot. Finally, it's been a long time, almost 15 years. Uh, this will be the SUV of the year. Oh my, believe it when I see it. Well, we see it right here. I need to catch up with all these comments, dude. People seem so, so pumped about it, at least just what I'm seeing so far. When will it be now? No idea. Uh, vertical hatch, I bet the rear window does go down. So I've always been a person of the rear window going down. There have been people saying that um, it may not go down. I'm a big fan of it. That blue is not it. Molly, you have no idea what you're talking about. The blue is definitely it. That is one of the best colors. And cavalry blue nonetheless. Yeah, loving this for sure. Like if this thing is cavalry blue, it's gonna make buying the sixth generation Forerunner so, so much easier. I absolutely love it, man. But let me know what you guys think again down in the comment section on the new Forerunner. I will be bringing it to you guys as soon as I know more information live here on the channel, all the details and stuff. But some speculation that we already have is it may be a copy of the Tacoma powertrain wise, even down to potentially a manual transmission in the uh, new 4Runner. So 2.4 turbo, most likely that's what they put in the Land Cruiser, that's what they put in the Tacoma. Most likely we can see it here on the 4Runner with an eight speed transmission. Again, potentially a manual has been floating around the rumor mill and to a hybrid setup as well, hopefully, for the 4Runner. But aside from that, Toyota has been keeping it very, very under the wraps, so I'm very excited to see it and uh, showcase it for you guys. All we've gotten so far is just two like little test mule teasers. That's it, that's all we've gotten, and uh, now we finally have an official teaser. So I'm very curious if more will be coming out in the future, uh, how long they'll stretch out teasers or if it's just one of those things where it's like, hey, here it is, maybe one more, and then we get a reveal. Not really sure, but what I am sure about is that whatever information we have, I will bring you guys it as soon as I can here on the channel. But I'm very excited that we finally have sixth generation 4Runner official confirmation from Toyota, which is very rad. So guys, I appreciate you all watching and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.